Here's another slight modification I did on my high point 45. Now I've worked a lot on this and uh, figured I'll leave the paint inside here. And I mean, yeah, it's got a few little hairline scratches in it, but I'll eventually get those out. I'm not painting this gun. This type of metal is not going to rust. And I mean, I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, and I'm. I can show you, I mean, it's, it's slick, all right? I mean, it's just slick metal. It's nice. I think it looks good. Hold it up here. So, let me see how shiny. And it's got the whole rubber hand grip right there. And, I don't know if you can make that out, but, you know, it does say high point right there. There you go spent a lot of time on this um, just trying to make it look the way I want it to look let me do something here real quick I hold it in this hand see and you know I don't have any problems out of this gun at all I mean it's just it. I pull the trigger and it shoots and yeah I mean I had it jam a couple times because I had to adjust the feed lips on the mag but I was watching videos today of Smith & Wesson pistols jamming, uh, Glocks jamming, or whatever. I mean, any gun with moving parts like this is prone to malfunction at some point in its life. Um, but, you know, I don't really care because this gun shoots and it serves its purpose. I like it. It fits good in my hand, and it runs good. It's accurate. Uh, Miller USAF's got nice videos of uh, JHP's. I mean, just flat running three mags like it's nothing. I mean, it looked just like a high dollar, high dollar gun out there. The way people look at a high dollar gun, you know. I mean, I like this gun. I think it's neat. It uh, it shoots good, and yeah, I mean, it may be heavy. I don't care. You know, I like a heavy gun personally because it's easier to hold I'll, the heavier the gun the easier it is for me to aim so, but there you go i mean the only thing you do if, if anybody likes this and you want to do this to your gun it's not going to rust this type of metal won't rust uh, it's zamac 3 um all you got to do is get you some sandpaper and just go to town and just sand and say you're going to spend a couple of days i'm not joking I and mean, it's hard and it's aggravating it's frustrating but, you know, that's what happens after you're done. I think it's pretty cool. It's a nice looking pistol for $200. I did buy it brand new three years ago. Uh, it's not going anywhere. I just add to a few little collection of guns that I got. I'm going to buy another one here soon. Different type of defense weapon for my wife to carry something that's not so heavy. I don't want her going with the 380, but... Yeah, it is what it is. It's better than nothing. A 380 in the in your pocket's better than a 45 in a safe. But in all reality, ain't nothing better for self-defense than a 45. All right. Thanks for watching.